Hello, Internet. Jesus loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show we do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And first things first, youtube.com slash Tim3vlog. You need to go check that out as soon as you're done with this video. Every Monday, Wednesday, he does vlogs, so if you're into vlogs, definitely go check those out. And then on Fridays, he does this thing called Let's Be Real. From what I've seen so far, I really like what he does. It's supposed to be just like he takes a topic and he gives his thoughts on it. And being a Christian, his thoughts usually turn into like little mini messages. That being said, the man is brilliant. So for an example, he took the smartphone game Flappy Bird and he turned that into a profound message about addiction. And if you've ever tried to do things like this, that's talents. So if you want to check this guy out, youtube.com slash Tim3vlog, link in the description below. I think it's the like second whatever you call it, of words. And for the first story of the day, I wanted to talk about the movie news that's coming out around the Super Bowl right now. Which I don't think I'm actually going to do. I'm going to bring up the Captain America trailer came out and Transformers trailer came out, but I'm not going to review them or talk about them that much because it's not really Christian news. I used to do stuff on the show like that all the time where I was like, this is something that I as a Christian am interested in, therefore you as a Christian will probably be interested in it as well. But I've been trying to get into the mindset of you are going to see those trailers whether I show them to you or not within at least the next couple months. So I mean there are new stories that I'm going to talk about that are not exactly Christian news related but I think they're important enough to bring up. But that's why like movie news and game news that isn't exactly Christian usually just gets like an honorable mention anymore. And plus, one of those movie trailers came out during the Super Bowl and I don't want I want to talk about the Super Bowl. I mean, so what other Broncos lost? It's just a game. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> and the first story of the day is about Philip Seymour Hoffman because yesterday he died of a drug overdose. If you haven't heard of him already, he was a fantastic actor. You may recognize him from Hunger Games Catching Fire. And this news has just surprised his family, his friends, and obviously his fans. He had gone to rehab last year for drug addiction, but everyone who knew him thought that he was just past all of it. Something I had not known until today is that he took his Christian faith very seriously, so he is in a better place. And if you're an atheist or an agnostic or anything like that, that probably sounds incredibly conceited for me to say. But for us who are Christians who so concretely believe that there is a life after death and there is a heaven and there is a hell, uh, there's nothing more comforting than knowing where he's at. Obviously, if he wasn't Christian, I wouldn't have just been like, he's going to hell, that's too bad. I mean, I just, I wouldn't have said anything about it. But for me being a Christian and everyone else who's watching this that are Christians, uh, it's comforting knowledge for us to have. I just think it makes it easier to no longer mourn the life that this man no longer has and instead celebrate the life that he did have. And so I just want to say my prayers are to everyone who knew Philip Seymour Hoffman because it is always hard to lose a loved one. And to you, Philip Seymour Hoffman, you will be missed. But from that we go to some less depressing news and something kind of exciting. Amazon is kind of known for like its online store but they're actually really into publishing as well. And that being said, Amazon Publishing is introducing a new Christian imprint which just means that they're going to be printing more Christian books which is awesome. And if you're not familiar, publishers will have like multiple imprints and these all go out to different demographics. This one obviously for Christians. And the reason that this is so exciting and cool is because most Christian companies are like for one denomination and so that denomination prints books out to its denomination. So the cool thing with Amazon is not going to have one denomination, it's just kind of going to be everything Jesus. And there are a lot of people out there that think that this is not going to work just because of that fact that there are no denominations so it's going to be so widespread that nobody will trust it. But the thing is if it does work with Amazon being such a big publishing company it could be one small step to just like unifying Christians all the more. From the inside looking out it never seems like our denominations are that far out from each other. But it's really interesting that recently I was talking to a Catholic and they said looking at Baptists and Methodists and Lutherans they all look like they're separate from each other as Catholicism is. So just a step bringing those closer together is always a good thing. And then our final story of the day is a new statistic that came out and that is that abortion rates are lower than they've been since 1973. And kind of intriguing about this is that the study found no evidence that this has to do with the restrictions in laws since 1973. So yeah, I don't know if I have anyone who's pro-choice watching my show or not, but the people that are pro-life, good news. You all know my opinion, I definitely like go pro-life, but I also know that making abortions completely illegal is a terrible idea and it will have completely awful consequences. I'm just in the mindset that if you legalize abortions or you don't, it's going to happen no matter what. And if you have regulations, one, you can see the statistics on them dropping, which is cool. And more importantly, if they're going to happen at least this way, they are the most painless process as possible. And if you don't believe me and you're like, nah, that could never happen, just that Google Kermit Gosnell. It's a perfect example of what happens when an abortionist just completely ignores regulations. But I think we'll end there with kind of a more serious 
show today, but uh, that brings us to the question of the day. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite Christian book? Or if you're not a Christian, what is your favorite religious book? And if you're an atheist and you're like, atheism is not a religion, uh, religion-oriented related book. I'm just trying to be all-inclusive, and I've already asked what you guys' favorite book is, so I was trying to be different, and this is what happens. My favorite Christian book is Stuff Christians Like, because it's the most hilarious book just in general that I've ever read. But I don't care what my favorite book is, I want to know what your guys' is, so please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. My name's Cody, I'm bringing you Christian news in a not-so-boring kind of way, at least I like to think so every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody like, subscribe, I will see you later, and... God bless. Wait, what what are you what are you doing here? Still, the the video is over. YouTube.com slash Tim3Vlog. Go check it out.